Guys, to say thank you for all the support, we are giving away $100 via PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. All you have to do is subscribe. Again, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Winner announced Monday. Colts versus Bears live reaction. It's that time of the week again. I'm going to have my buddy Jake, who's a huge Cowboy fan, live react to the game with me. As you can tell, the setup looks different. I'm back home in Austin. But yeah, enjoy the video. Player with 400 or more passing touchdowns. That's some elite. Oh, nice pick. Yeah, oh, oh my God. And dropped. Coles will throw from deep and down the far oh, side. Oh, my God. Oh. Play fake. Foles. There you go. Go out. Inside the 35 to the. And from 27 yards out, the kick. It, big pressure hit as he threw the ball, and it is. Oh my god. Oh! That's a good call. It's halftime, and I don't really know what to say other than penalties, penalties, and penalties. Our offense can't seem to get in a groove. We weren't able to convert another red zone, which led to a field goal, and that's going to come around and bite us in the ass, in my opinion. Defense has been all right. Again, like how many penalties are we going to give up? I think three pass interferences, but it's just the same story. Penalties are killing us on defense. We can't get third and long stops. Phillip Rivers is killing us in the middle of the field. I don't want to see Trey Burton out there anymore either. Every time I see him, it pisses me off because we gave him so much money. But offensively, we need to get into a groove. We haven't been able to run the ball. That's the number one thing that I've noticed is our run game is completely gone. There's no run game. You know, play action's been good. Foles has thrown a couple of good deep balls down the field. I mean, obviously the Colts have a good defense. But yeah, guys, it's been a very, very disappointing first half. I will check in with you guys during the second half, and hopefully the Bears can pull this out. On its way, right. and good. Sideline, it is incomplete. Penalty markers fly. Foles over the middle, incomplete through the hands of his intended receiver. That's intercepted. Air day. Up the blitz to the end zone, going up, grabbing the football. And makes a shot. No. Foles, they're going to try to run it. And number 32, Montgomery. Foles is on the grass. This should That's jump up in the air pretty high. And covering the ball. That was, the 40. that was the worst onside kick I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie. That was hard to watch. Offensively, that was awful. I feel like it was 2019 all over again. Again, I do want to give credit to the Colts defense. That is one of the best defenses in the league. You know, they were able to make us totally one-sided. We couldn't do, we couldn't run the ball whatsoever. We had to throw. Foles wasn't on target. You know, again, props to the Colts defense, but offensively, we have to be better, and that's just unacceptable. Penalties and third down stops, the only two places where the Bears defense really struggled, in my opinion. You know, just way too many penalties. We weren't able to get a lot of third and long stops. You know, we didn't have any takeaways. That Roquan Smith pick would have been so huge if we could have gotten that, but... I'm just disappointed as a team. I just thought they were going to come out with more energy, you know, Foles' first start. But, I don't know, it just seems like same old Bears. And we have like a five-day turnaround to get ready for Tom Brady and the Bucks. So, that's concerning to say the least. It sucks, man. 3-1, and one, again, I'm happy with 3-1. and one. It's just the way we lost just hurts. It just seems like, you know, I don't know, dude. We The scoreline is a lot closer than it should have been, in my opinion. Like, you know, we lost by 8, but it felt like we were down 20. 